Keith Lewis doing a quick recording of uh, another video tutorial about Weebly. Uh, this one right here is about how to link a download page and hide that page if you're selling something on your home page. For example, I, I, I got a site that I built that I use my home page as a sales page to a product that, uh, information, to an information product that I built on Weebly that I'm selling it and I want to hide it and the only way that I could find the way to hide it was the way that Weebly does it they have these where you have to you highlight a link I mean you highlight whatever it is that you want to hide and then you um, have them on another page link back to that but I didn't want them to have the option or, or be able to link back to that without buying off the home page first then I wanted them to link back to the, to the, the what I call a thank you page so I'm gonna log in and show you how to create a thank you page after someone and say if you're selling something someone buys from you and then that thank you page has the product on there that you're selling okay I'm gonna link uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, sign into my account real quick I'm on Weebly right now and I'm gonna link it to uh, PayPal also so let me see if I can remember my password I think that's it and you have to excuse my um, computers moving kinda of slow because of this uh, Camtasia 7.1 which I love it but uh, here we are we're on my uh, Weebly one of my Weebly sites I mean uh, uh, one of my Weebly accounts <laughs> Don't tell Weebly, but uh, I'm on. This is the one I'm doing. I'm editing. Uh, I'm, I punch edit, right? Okay. This is the website that I built that I am actually selling. You know something on it. This right here is the. Uh, this is what I did, and as you can see, all I got up here is home and contact us but the thank you page normally will be you know next right here right, right after. but I hit it so um <clears throat> my computer's kind of freezing man but anyway let me have you up with this um so I built this uh, website right and uh okay let's go let me scroll down well, I see some things are not popping up here. There we go. My my computer's moving is extremely slow. It's just lagging real bad right now. But uh, but here's a site I built, right? And uh, I got my PayPal, my pay now, my buy now button on here, right? And as you can see, I you know. You can tell that you and I and I got my disclaimer, right? Got a few ads, but this right here links to the download pages that I want them to go after they buy, you know, after they've been sold on the sales page, right? So I'm gonna go to pages and uh right here I got it hidden. You can see the X the X over the I. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to it and I'm gonna show you how to get the HTML for it I'm gonna unhide it and the way you do it is you um, you have to publish it but I'm gonna show you what it looks like, you know what it looks like like when they buy um, from the home page this is where this is where it's gonna lead them to where I want them to go right it's gonna be a thank you page right all right, thank you for your purchase. Blase, blase, right? Okay, we're gonna go back to the home. Okay, now I unchecked it. I could, you see this thank you, right? All you have to do is, you know, you have to publish it, right? Because if I went there right now, you know, it's still look up in my browser right here. You see where it says weebly.com uh, forward slash weebly slash main dot php. Well, we don't want that, so you have to publish it, right? 
and when you publish it this is my uh, Weebly's website name or URL right so I'm gonna go right here to look at my actual site how it looks see now we got the actual site and it's published and it's uh, up on the internet now but you see it's dot com right okay right here thank you page this is what we want right here the thank you so what you have to do is you have to um, you have to copy this whole URL you know and you know you copy it right and then you go to and then you go back to um, you I X out of it and I X out of this and then I go back to my pages to hurry up and get it off line and I go back hide it hide it again and then boom I publish it now <clears throat> what they're gonna see is that is you know that is live the way that I want it now <clears throat> trying to hurry up with this video but see no thank you page I got it alright so now what we do is we go to uh, it goes to my PayPal. You log into your PayPal account, and then uh, if you don't have a PayPal, go ahead and sign up for one. Uh, sign up for a Premier. Uh, then you go to your products and services, and you go to get paid. I'm trying to move kind of fast. I heard me get done with this video real quick, but I'm sorry for the inconvenience. My computer is lagging real bad. So right now, you go to frequently used tools. You go to get paid. Because everybody wants to get paid, right? It's the whole purpose of it all, right? Get paid. Okay. So, as I wait for this lagging computer to, to uh, load up, we go to add payment buttons, right? And this is if you're selling it, selling something on your homepage. You know, it could be with any site, really. Okay. And then you go down to sell products sell single item because you don't want to do multiple uh, sell multiple items you don't want to add a cart uh, unless you got multiple things that you're selling like say if you have sneakers you're selling jeans and shirts hats then you put multiple things but if you just sell them a single product as i am just put that single button on there okay you go to step one right here step one you put your item name i put a three uh step uh, manual. I ain't going to put the manual because I've already done everything. Put the price. My price is 20 bucks. You know. And then you drop down. Right here. USD. Specific amount of your shipping. Zero because it's, it's, it's going to go straight to them after the thank you pays. No sale tax. Zero. I skip track uh, step two and go to step three and do you right here do you want your uh, to let your customer change your order quantities no can your customer ask special instructions to you no do you need your customer's shipping address no right here no I'm not gonna check that because uh, in my disclaimer is to it, it tells you all about this right here then right here we paste in that that uh we paste in that thank you, you know, uh, that thank you uh, page, that HTML for that. Paste that in there, and then you click right here, create button. And what's going to happen is they're going to get a, uh, you're going to get a, uh, you're going to get the code for um, for your button, right? See, you're going all this code right here. You, you get that. And you just hit select code, and I go in there and copy all of it. And then what you're going to do is you go back to Weebly, and let's see, excited. You go to um, pages. You go to home. You go to edit, and then you you take this right here. And you drag it down there 
at the bottom, all the way at the bottom, wherever you want your, to put your buy button, you, I put mine right there. You drag it right there. You let that, you let this go. You let that go. And then when you let that go, let me show you. I'm not going to do it, but because I already got it all worked out. But anyway, you drag this down to here, and then you paste in that code that you that uh, PayPal gave you, and then you center your button so you can left, you center it, put it in the center, and then boom, bada boom, bada bing, and you're done. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, also, you can put in that URL instead. If, if you didn't want to put um, a thank you page that you had, you wanted to capture that uh, lead, um, you can uh, also put in uh, a squeeze page URL address. And once they bought from you, they have to put the name and email in. And then once they do that, and then with your AWeber, you can have them direct that straight to their email after they opt in to your list. And then you can have a product right there in the unzip file, and they have to unzip it. Or in the zip file, they have to unzip it in order to get that product. And that, and, and, but then you got that lead. I do that also. So. But uh, this is Keith Lewis signing out, and uh, I hope this video has been very helpful for you. It took me a while to figure it, but I, I got it, and it's been helpful for me. Thank you.